Hi guys, so this Switch came out, what, 2017, and I waited for about a year, and I finally got around to getting this, and I could never put this thing down. I'm always using this Switch, always using this Switch. Um, thing is with me, though, I travel quite a bit, and, you know, I'm one of those guys, I actually, 50% of the time, I love to use this on the TV, and 50% of the time, I'm traveling, so I'm having it when I'm on the road. Um, but there's only one thing about this when it comes to traveling. I mean, it's great for traveling, don't get me wrong. It has a great big screen and everything. Uh, I tend to get physical when I play a lot, right? And with these Joy-Cons, I mean, yeah, you have that flexibility where you can take the Joy-Cons off and you can have, you know, we, we all know what the Switch is all about. But I really wanted something that could really ergonomically feel like a true portable system while I'm on the road. I don't have to worry about Joy-Cons flying off. And I really wanted something that felt pretty solid in my hand and was actually a bit more compact. I could literally take it around, uh, not really in my pocket, but, you know, in my bag, but it's smaller than this. Um, but I wanted the same horsepower as this. So fortunately, this came out in September of this year and uh, finally got around again in it. This is, of course, the Nintendo Switch Lite. And yes, I like the yellow version. Um, and I even got this uh, from my local uh, uh, EB game store here in Canada. They have these starter kits. It comes with a little pouch, actually custom designed for the Nintendo Switch Lite, along with a little screen protector, which I will not be using because I would love to enjoy the screen, the vivid screen itself. And you get actually a set of uh, earbuds as well and a cleaning uh, cloth. So this is retail for about 25 Canadian, right? 20 US, whatever, uh, as the add-on. So, But what I will try to do, I do find you know similar products on Amazon. So I'm going to have a link below. You can check those out. And uh, But yeah, so I got this. So let's, uh, what I really wanted to do, just take it out of the box quickly. And I know people have been asking questions. And I think there's a lot of traffic online. You know, if I already own a Switch... Do I need to get one of these? And you know, and you know what? I will tell you right now, if you own one of these switches right here on my on my on my right, and you mainly play these at home at home, and you need to have a dock where you can connect to a screen, a big a large screen TV or something like that, you get this switch. However, if you do not need a device that connects to any large screen television or any television of that matter, because this does not do that. But you need something that is ultra portable because you're you really play this in portable mode most of the time if not all the time i would recommend getting one of these um and i'm saying that based on the feedback i've seen online i haven't even used this yet but it does kind of make sense um and as you all know in the roadmap there is a pro version of this which should be soon coming out i'm not sure if it's going to be 2020 2021 sometime in the future but Right now, I mean, yeah, that that's pretty much it in summary. I'm giving you the summary right now. If you want something that works on at home and you need to be on the road as well, get this. If you just need something that's purely portable with the same horsepower as this, um, I'll get this. So let's take out the box. Uh, how do I take this out of the box? Let's see here. Now, what I like about this is now notice that I said I got this uh, maybe a year plus ago or 2018. I kept the box because the boxes are really really cool I love them look at this one this is nice you know a yellow gaming system I've never really had a yellow gaming system before and I look at my collection here anyway oh yeah so that's that's nothing else in there and look at that let's pull this out and that looks very nice what I love about Nintendo they always have a really nice way of presenting things when they're in a box and this looks very nice uh yeah this this looks nice my little lemon nintendo switch now i'm colorblind so i call it lemon but you know if you want to be simple my little yellow nintendo switch i think they call it yellow actually what's, what's the color on here yeah i think it's just yep yeah, yellow amarillo no amarillo jaune en français yellow all right so that's it and uh what else is in here i don't think there's anything much else should be oh there's a uh, uh, health and safety information and a power supply there you go trusty power supply that's it nothing else
nothing else in the box. We got a cool case. Oh, it feels nice. Smells new. And this is made specifically for the Nintendo Switch Lite. And as you can see, you have a nice screen protector cover. Or you have the little rubber bands to keep your Nintendo Switch Lite in place. There you go. You got a cleaning, cleaning cloth, the screen. You got uh, my earbuds. And you get a little screen protector, which I'm not going to use. And a warranty card, which I'm never going to use. There you go. All right. And this also has eight slots for eight cartridges. And here you can keep all your other bits and pieces behind this little mesh pocket right here, which is pretty nice. But let's get back to the main device at hand, the Nintendo Switch Lite. Okay, so here are my three Nintendo devices. Well, three of them anyway, out of my collection. So I just have the Nintendo 3DS XL in there as a reference point, and you can see the size differences, right? If I put it right next to the uh, Nintendo Switch Mini, uh, the, the 3DS XL is roughly the size of the, the screen on the Mini. And as you can see, it's even dwarfed. It's dwarfed even more by the Nintendo Switch. Now when comparing the D-pads, that's the Switch Mini, and here's my 3DS XL. Um, they're roughly the same size. I was just the 3D, um, the, the Nintendo Switch Mini is a little bit bigger when it comes to the D-pad, but you know it's the same same type of feel uh, and look. To so looking at the button layout, well, both of them have the analog um, controls in the same spot, and uh, on the right hand side, they both have the uh, um, a, B, and X, Y action keys. Of course, you have your minus and plus uh, buttons here along the top on both of them. Everything else is the same. Um, home button and the uh, um, snapshot picture button um, as well on the left side. So um, all that is... So just going from left to right across the top, as you can see, you have your shoulder and trigger buttons on both devices. Uh, and then going from left to right here, we have our power key, we have our volume controller, we have our 3.5 millimeter jack here on the right, and we have our little B here for our cartridges, right? Everything is in the same place, right? And then the back here, comparing the backs, both of these devices, um, you have a kickstand on the switch, nothing on the switch light. Other than that, everything is pretty much the same. Other, of course, there's no Joy-Cons on this. It's, it's one, one unit. So just comparing to, so looking at the switch, uh, let's look at the pros. So you have up to nine hours of battery life. Of course, that depends on the type of game you're playing. Uh, it works with all the switch games. It has the kickstand. We talked about the tabletop mode and the, of course, yeah, well, tabletop mode, of course, is you can remove the Joy-Cons and you have the uh, screen on the table. So that's the tabletop mode. Um, so if I forgot to mention that, that's also one of the benefits of the Switch. And you have the TV mode, obviously, it comes with a dock. I don't have it in this video, but I have it upstairs. But you know what the dock looks like. You just slide this uh, Switch into it. The dock connects to your large screen TV. You take off the joy cons and you have a home console speaking of joy cons those are the detachable things on the either on either side of the switch i have a blue and an orange one there good what are the cons it's relatively more expensive than the little brother on the right hand side there and it's less compact we mentioned that before so talking us dollars the uh, switch is about 300 dollars us and that's about you know roughly 350 canadian and the Switch Lite is about $100 US cheaper, retailing for about $200 on Amazon, and that equates to roughly $250 Canadian. All right? Very rough, very, very rough calculation there. Anyway, so looking at our little brother on the right-hand side now, a little yellow Switch Lite. So what are the pros? It's relatively inexpensive, $200. US. Uh, it has a, a bit of a smaller battery, so there would be a bit of a 
reduction in the amount of gameplay hours they say are up to seven hours so roughly two hours shorter again it depends on the type of games you're playing it's more compact and it has oh a lot more color options now i know right now the market i believe there's three um uh three to four color options but i know right here in canada there's this yellow one blue one and that dark gray or black one right now let's look at the cons so no tv mode no tabletop mode no kickstand so see those three right there if you're looking at ultra portability those things don't matter uh now as i said earlier there's some games that don't work as easily and of course there's oh and there's no motion controls or hd rumble now uh, you would get that of course in the switch uh obviously because you have a larger battery can support that and uh, you know you're, you you get it right if you have it hooked into a dock at home you're powered by local ac you can enjoy a lot more of those features and one more thing there is no motion control or hd rumble in this one right so that to strip those things out make it ultra portable and uh same horsepower uh and 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 of course smaller screen but from what i've heard because the screen is smaller um and you're you're, you're still doing 720p um it actually looks crisper gameplay looks a bit more crisper uh because you're packing the same amount of pixels that are on this piece of real estate to a smaller piece of real estate so technically uh images should be a bit more crisper so because the screen is a little bit smaller that might be a good thing because the same number the same resolution that's on here in terms of oh so let me rephrase it the same number of pixels that are on this larger piece of real estate are crammed into something smaller so technically speaking if you have the same number of pixels in a smaller space uh, so guys now we have the nintendo switch light out there with the switch is this 3ds dead well let the numbers speak for itself the latest numbers show that in q2 of this year that's between april and june only 200,000 units of these were sold right a mere 200,000 and i think for the entire life cycle i think that takes us up to about just over 75 million units sold uh so far in the entire product life cycle of this device so i'm guessing that this is going to be soon end of life very very shortly especially that now now there are rumors about the pro version coming out pretty shortly for the nintendo switch so now the switch light i have a list here that i just downloaded but uh some of the best uh, nintendo switch light games for 2019 for this of course legend of zelda link's awakening overwatch of course uh diablo 3 eternal collection uh super smash brothers ultimate one of my personal favorites uh mario kart 8 deluxe another one of my favorites and legend of zelda breath of the wild one of the earlier uh titles to come out um but of course that's just uh, some of the titles but again you know this plays t you know, all the switch games pretty much what i love about this switch light is you can still Although it's an all-in-one device, you can still pair a set of Joy-Cons to this device. So you can use these with this, which is pretty cool. Just letting you know, it can work. If you don't believe me, Google it and check it out yourself. So I love the feel. It feels like I can really take this on the road and I can play with it. It's not too small, not too big. You can tell that Nintendo did a lot of testing of prototypes to find the ultimate size which fits right within that portability range and it's designed that you can play for long hours uh, assuming the battery lasts out long uh, without your hands cramping up or feeling uncomfortable right and uh, oh look at that that is a very very nice nice surprise and do you know what I'm talking about it's on here but it's not on there and no I'm not talking about the color talking about that d-pad yes the nintendo switch Lite has a d-pad wow that was one of my pain points on the nintendo switch obviously the reason it did that is because you want to have that joy con that can come off and you know you want to have similar a similar feel for control so you have four buttons on the joystick four buttons on the joystick but with this you don't have to worry about that so nintendo was nice enough to put back their signature d-pad and it feels 
So over here we have a Nintendo 3DS and that's the D-pad. Um, I have also had people asking about, you know, is this pretty much like the replacement for the 3DS? And I will say no. This is this has the same kind of horsepower that this has, and these two have way more horsepower than this. So uh, this is uh, this is in a, in a category of its own when compared to this. This this is, you know, I think they still sell 3DSs, uh, but you know, if you need power and portability. You know, you got to get one or two of these switches. Um, but yeah, this feels nice. Um, so other quick features when comparing to the Switch, let's put them side by side here. So obviously, the Switch has a kickstand. Kind of works okay. I don't use it that much. The Switch Lite does not have any kickstand. Um, we talked about the D-pad that's on the Switch Lite. There's none on the Switch. And of course the Switch Lite is noticeably smaller than the Switch, which is good for portability. And as I said, it felt really good and it feels really nice in my hand. So the smaller size does not, it's not a trade-off for comfort. It actually feels nice. I can access my trigger buttons, shoulder buttons, action buttons, and the two analog uh, buttons as well. Um, other differences other than the kickstand and the D-pad and the size. Uh, of course, uh, yeah, everything else looks the same here. Uh, yeah, uh, we have our volume key at the top. Everything, all the all the buttons are the same, pretty much. It's just uh, smaller. Uh, and of course, the uh, there is of on this. You can obviously add um, uh, extra space, right? There's space for a micro SD card, and of course, there's a slot for that in here as well. Um, and that's the space right. Where is it? Oh, right here, right at the bottom. Micro SD card slot, right at the bottom. And the top is where we put our cartridge. So everything else is pretty much the same. Um, so smaller screen, of course, a bit of a smaller battery, I believe. It, there's a smaller battery in here as well. Um, but uh, other than that, the major difference is just to summarize, this has a kickstand, this does not. This has a D-pad this does not and um, obviously you know th th these joy cons can come off there are no joy cons on this this is all one solid device designed for mobile use speaking of mobile use this can be used for mobile use as well but it can also switch to a home console hence the name switch by you know right so you get that um another than that all the other buttons on here are the same you do have your your slot for your cartridge as well as a micro SD slot on here as well same thing on the switch um, and of course the switch is no, noticeably bigger bigger screen uh, this has a bit of a smaller screen but um, you know uh, other than that yeah so let's just take a closer look so you can see uh, the comparison side by side a bit closely and that's it for now um, so hope you like this video and uh, yeah, feel free to let me know what you think about your comments on the Switch light. And do you like yellow, blue, or I call it black or dark gray? But let me know what your favorite color is. Um, cool. Hi guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you subscribed, thank you very much again. I appreciate it. Um, feel free to leave some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this video, as well as other videos that you'd like me to do. And one last thing, if you want to find out how you can qualify uh, for these giveaways here uh, like this, uh, check out my website at www.redtechbot.com. The link is down below. Bye-bye.